It's a rich tradition that has been handed down from generation to generation, one that has required a constant commitment to detail, learning, and adapting to incredible advances in technology, ultimately helping to produce the most skilled and talented workforces in America that take great pride in building the most complex and technologically advanced ships for the world's greatest fleet. And now the Apprentice School, which has been a part of Newport News shipbuilding for almost a century, is about to take a much needed quantum leap into the future. I think we stand on the shoulders of those shipbuilders that have gone before us. It's nice to come into a 92-year history and tradition. This building is not the first of the apprentice schools. It's actually the fourth. And knowing that apprentices in the past have been educated in stables and in old shops, and now in this building that was built in 1943, and preparing for the future it gives you a chance to see how we progress as shipbuilders. The other nice thing about this building is it's very closely connected to the waterfront. We like to say we've got 550 acres of shipbuilding laboratory right outside these walls, and it's good to have that connection. It's kind of sad in one way that the building is inside the gate because the public doesn't get to see uh, a real representation of what we do, but we have been training uh, young men and women in, in a field that's very important to our nation's security, building those aircraft carriers and their submarines. And it's quite a sense of accomplishment. You realize that you're doing something very important, regardless of whether you're fitting steel or whether you're outfitting or testing. And it doesn't matter what part you play in this big orchestra that makes these ships. What's important is that we do a good job day in and day out for our customer. Well, there's a lot of history here. Part of an apprentice's experience is far more than shipbuilding on the waterfront. Uh, apprentices also take courses in trade theory where they, they learn more about the trade that they work at the shipyard. And they also take academic courses, which are the courses that they take um, within the walls of this building. Minus one equals negative x, or x is equal to one. The students take courses in mathematics. They take courses in communications computers, physics, so there's definitely a strong academic component. There is a direct correlation between what our students do in the classroom and what they're doing on the waterfront. The idea is that they take uh, the material covered in class, um, they learn that, and then they can apply it very quickly, immediately almost, when they return to the waterfront the next day. One marker of our students is the fact that many of them are contextual learners. They learn very well by doing, which I think is part of the reason that they're attracted to the apprenticeship program in the first place. And one of the things I value about that is that it makes for such a dynamic classroom. It's really exciting um, because there's not just one area that you can go to, there's so many different options that you can branch off into, whether you want to go engineering or management or planning or stay with your tools. And I thought, what more pride could you have in a job than building something that people's lives depend on and really represent your country. And so it was definitely a big jump for me to come three hours away, um, but it was definitely a career move that I thought would put me in places to get me ahead in life, so, and it, it has already done that. So. The new facility is another um, in a series of steps that is evidence of and reinforces our commitment to the community. We have a huge presence in downtown Newport News, employing you know, over 19,000 folks and apprentice alumni and students, they are a huge portion of that workforce. So this is another way to interact with our community and um, it's a fantastic opportunity, not only for apprentices, but for other shipbuilders and the community as a whole. It is a game changer for downtown. Our, our mode in recent years has been to stabilize downtown and to uh, tear down some of the older properties, but we have not had a lot of activity. We, we, you know, people come and go to City Hall and to the court system and to the shipyard, and to have this gorgeous new technology building and educational icon that will really be a tremendous statement for Newport New Shipbuilding and the new Huntington Ingalls industry, uh, I think that it's going to be a tremendous source of pride for our citizens. Uh, I know that the apprentice school students and uh, the faculty are very excited and it really is going to be uh, a fertile project that's going to pay the dividends for all the investment that we've made over the years to uh, prepare downtown for its regeneration. 
as we work with the shipyard on this project uh, four or five years ago conceptually, selecting the site presented several challenges and opportunities. The shipyard could go uh, a very inexpensive route by taking some of their existing parking and putting a building in it. The other alternative we looked at was the super block that is publicly owned by our housing authority. Uh, and we also talked about the long-term potential of what it can do for redeveloping downtown and where would you go for future development. And then this site from 31st Street between Washington Avenue and West Avenue to 34th Street along the Washington Avenue. It doesn't go all the way back to 34th Street, which really was originally the preferred site of the shipyard from the beginning, was something that was very close to uh, their gates that was within a very short walking distance. It included some older buildings and some public surface parking lots. Some of the properties owned by the shipyard, so the shipyard contributed what used to be the old Bank of Virginia building. And then there was some privately owned property and some smaller um, portion of publicly owned property that we could assemble uh, a two and a half block area to accomplish the project. Yeah, demolition has started. It's really exciting to see some of the older buildings come down. For most of us, there are a few folks that worked in those buildings as banks uh, and in other locations, and so there is a little bit of sentimental uh, attachment and sadness that, that goes with seeing uh, an era of the past. But what you're going to see coming out of the ground is going to be a new modern icon that is uh, going to really be a statement for the shipyard and for the quality of Newport News and pride in our work ethic and our educational facilities and it will be very similar to downtown Norfolk where Tidewater Community College came in and really made a difference in the activity level and all that's there. So, uh, you know, it'll be a construction site for a while. The buildings should be down in the next uh, 45 days down to the ground and then the utilities in and you'll start to see uh, the phoenix rise from the ashes again by the fall. It's a great honor to welcome you today to the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Newport News Apprentice School. The Apprentice School project represents a $70 million collaborative effort between the city, the Industrial Development Authority of the City of Newport News, Amada Hofla Development Company, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and Huntington Ingalls Incorporated. This entire project is expected to generate direct tax revenue conservatively estimated at $400,000. It will create new job opportunities and serve as a catalyst to spur investment and redevelopment opportunities within our historic downtown. What you're about to do here in these, uh, in these next two years is really going to be uh, tremendous. It's going to be a, a venue for education uh, to train uh, these uh, young folks to do amazing work that you can't do anywhere else. As much as we're putting an emphasis on higher education in Virginia with our goal of creating 100,000 new degrees over the next 15 years, as much as uh, the legislature's invested this year in higher education, there's no program at a Virginia college and no textbook you can go to that says how to build an aircraft carrier. You just don't do that. But you can do it here at the Apprentice School and teach people how to do that and build submarines and do the amazing work that's been done here for over a century. It is so much more than bricks and mortar. It's an opportunity for our employees to learn the art and the science of shipbuilding and heavy manufacturing and to develop future generations of business leaders. It's not just classrooms. It's another step in the revitalization of downtown Newport News and in the strengthening of American manufacturing and the Made in America brand. And it's not just on the job training. It's an investment in the security of our country and in the safety of the men and women who sail our ships into harm's way. It's truly the preservation of freedom and happiness. And through its focus on craftsmanship, scholarship, and leadership, the Apprentice School delivers knowledge. And that knowledge results in the very best military ships in the world. It has for nearly 100 years, 
And thanks to investments like this one, it will for many, many more. Congratulations to Newport News Shipbuilding, the City of Newport News, Armada Hoffler, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and everyone involved in this project for their foresight, commitment, and dedication to ensuring Newport News is where you'll continue to find the hard stuff done right. Thank you very much.